So a local Blackpool family has taken part in a UK-wide study to see whether the great tradition of British farming is becoming a mystery to millions of children around the country. The Kirby family were one of 12 families to visit a working blackcurrant farm to see whether witnessing farming practices first time would give them a better understanding and understanding and appreciation of British produce. And the Wildlife Trusts were also on board as well, educating the families uh, on all aspects of wildlife. So to join me about uh, how the farm trip benefited her family is Michelle Kirby. Hello, Michelle. Hiya. And to discuss why it's so important for our future generations to have an understanding and appreciation of British produce is Sarah Williamson from Ribena. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Uh, so, Michelle, how did you find the experience then? Um, it was really fantastic. It's not something that you get to do often. Obviously, we've been to um, animal farms a lot, but we've never really been to a fruit farm. Uh, and you, you think about a lot these days what goes into food, but not necessarily um, Ribena. It wasn't something I'd really thought about much. So it was really interesting to see the process, and obviously that it's something that we've kept British with so many products being imported these days it was something that's still british that's still supporting our economy and our farmers so who's in the family who went um i took my mum went with us and um my daughter jessica and a family member's child as well who was the same age georgia and do you think jessica um may be thinking about farming as uh, a career in the future it is actually something she's really interested in. Great. And do you think, like, obviously you've been to um, one of these experiments, but before that, I mean, you know, into schools and education and, and learning, do you, do you think kids learn at school or, you know, classes outside or from even family members about how food's made and farming? Other than learning kind of what food's healthy and what food isn't, she hasn't really done anything um, about you know farming or produce uh, at school mm, and sarah i mean you know for the stats that have come out are they quite concerning to you absolutely it's really shocking to hear that um, nearly half of children don't know that pears are actually grown in britain um, and also black currants because i think people you know people are interested in where food comes from but they don't always have the time to be able to go into the countryside for example uh, and find out and and see fruit growing in its natural environment and that's why we decided to give 12 families the chance to actually go and visit a ribena blackcurrant farm and we um, obviously try really hard to make sure that they grow in a very sustainable way. So we work with the Wildlife Trust, which is a conservation charity, to make sure that we do kind of wildlife friendly farming, really. So we have birds that have kind of nested in our British farms and come out of bird boxes that we've put up on the farms. And lots of wildlife grows. I'm sure Michelle and her children saw some of those kind of butterflies and the little bugs and things that grow on the farms. So, yeah, we do try really hard to make sure that the blackcurrants are grown in a sustainable way. Excellent. Where, pe where can people go for more information on this, sir? Well, we're putting, uh, we've got photos and we'll have videos and things across Mumsnet and Facebook and also YouTube. Excellent. So, what, shall we? What, what can we search? Just Ribena Blackpool or Rib yep. Farming? What? Yep. So Ribena. So if you go onto Facebook, we've got a Ribena page, and equally um, on Mumsnet and on YouTube. Excellent. Well, Sarah, thank you very much, and Michelle, thank you for talking to us on the phone. Good luck with it all as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.